Welcome back to Resident Evil 4 and Aspie Let's Play on the GameCube. In the last part, we did the Grail sections and I found out that the Elegant Mask is long gone and I won't be able to get it and I lost out on 11,000 gold. What a shame that is. We're now moving on to the rest of Chapter 4-1, starting with Ashley's Kidnapping! First of all, I'm going to cheese my way through this section. Leave immediately. The thing with the flying novice doors is that if you shoot them out of the air, that's an instant kill, no matter what. So I'm just going to keep my distance from them and shoot them down while they're all outside. See, these, these guys aren't smart enough to follow me where I am right now. That's a good thing. Let's see. Alright, that guy's on the ground. Oh, don't... Actually, I'll use my shotgun. I'll probably have a better chance of hitting them. Nope. Oh, that's two of them. Maybe if I jump down here? Yep, come on. Alright, I gotta shoot. Okay, you're dead. Fuck. <laughs> Perhaps a blue eye? For my troubles? And my suffering? I didn't even take any damage. Okay, I need to reload my rifle. I gotta think of a weapon to use to take down the hive. Oh, uh, let's use my handgun. I got a lot of spare handgun ammo. This is impossible to overshoot, by the way. It's a good thing. Oh, no! It's coming down, and it doesn't destroy the platform for some odd reason, even though it looks like solid, fleshy material. Please give me a blue eye. I'm not kidding, give me a blue eye. Come on. Where the... Where the hell... Is this it? Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. Actually, Chapter 4-1 is one of the longer sections in the game, depending on which route you take. Even longer than Chapter 5-1, I believe. Anyway, there was some shotgun ammo over here. Or did I... I already picked that up, didn't I? Or is it back here? I just gotta do a quick sweep of the place. I can't remember if there's anything I could have left behind. Looks like I already got everything. Okay, moving on to the next section. The clock tower. The clock tower and the return of the catapult zealots. I don't think you can kill the catapult zealots in this next section. No, no way. I think you can. If I won't be killing them, that's, that, that's a waste of ammo. It's a lever. Turn the lever? Of course I want to turn the lever. Why wouldn't I want to turn the lever? Yay! Also, I still got those uh, broken butterfly shots. I'm going to be saving those for the garter battle up ahead. The garter can actually be blown back by the broken butterfly. It stuns them and forces them to take a knee while you can swing around to hit them in the back. Welcome! What do you got for me today? What are you buying? 
Upgrade for my rifle? That wow, I have a fuck Thank ton you. of money. Jesus That'll Christ. <laughs> next you. next time I get uh, I get an opportunity to upgrade my rifle, it's That'll gonna be for the exclusive, bringing its damage That'll capacity up to eighteen. <laughs> More damage Thank for the broken you. butterfly, no uh, no, no upgrades. Yeah, I think I've been saving a lot of money by not upgrading my shotgun. It's really working pretty nicely. What else? Uh, yeah, I I could use the incendiary grenades against the guarders. I really should keep those, but I got a lot of treasure to sell. So. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? Green eyes are done. Is that all? Red eyes are done. <sighs> Is that all? Is that all? Is that all, stranger? Is that all? Is that all? Elegant chessboard. Thank you. Whatever money I don't use now, I'm gonna use it later. That's that's the key to this game. Okay, next section. Also, uh, I'm just gonna... Wait, can I? Uh, there should be a lack of continuity in this scene. See, I look over there... Alright, I'm just gonna do this for the record. Watch, watch this. See, look at that. No bridge. And there's clearly nobody over there. Watch what happens. Right after this radio transmission. Which... You can see me, Mr. Kennedy. If you even scratch her, I'll break your bones. Ooh, First, bones. If you can make it this far. I'll be waiting. Okay, lack of continuity right here. Major lack of continuity. Doesn't make any sense. Shit. How the hell did he get over there? Oh my god, so many mysteries. There's a spindle in this torch. Make sure you get this. Uh, do I want to... Actually, I don't really feel like going up against the catapult zealots. If you kill the two zealots on the tower over here, uh, you make it so that the catapult zealots never appear. Headshot, okay. Now that they're dead, catapult zealots that would normally start firing from over there, they're never going to come, and for some reason the music's playing. Somebody... I must have alerted somebody to my presence. Who is who is alerted? Perhaps it is you. Also, no plagas can come out of these guys. Or maybe the music will just keep. Oh no, music stopped. Okay. Last merchant opportunity before you go up against the garters, so make sure you're ready before you enter this clock tower. Or at least before you turn the switch to make it so that the clock tower changes the bridge. This is actually... This puzzle probably requires you... This, yeah, definitely requires you to at least read the document that's on the top floor so you know that these wooden blocks are here or that they jammed the gears. Otherwise... You'll probably be stuck in this part wondering what the f... Or maybe not. Um, well, you wouldn't know how many wooden blocks there are unless, you know, you kept finding one and then, you know, you destroy it and then you go back and check to see if it works again. That, that, that's, that sucks. I pity you if you had to do that. Here's the last one. And they're gone. Otherwise, um, this is this, the visuals and the environments that this game puts you in. They're still interesting. Like, I look at all the gears. It's just so nice. I love machinery. Anyway, here is the document. Ritual preparation. 
Thanks to the efforts of the Navistadors, we have been able to recapture Ashley. We shall prepare for the sacred ritual as quickly as possible and make Ashley an official member of the Los Illuminados. Yay. While we prepare for the ritual, those of you who feel inclined can attend to our American friend. We should be able to hold off our friend for at least a little while by jamming the gears in the clock tower with something. I think if we jam the gears in three places, it should give us enough time to prepare everything for the ritual. Now go and entertain our American tourist. Fuck you, Salazar. Oh, working machinery. It's like clockwork. Oh my god. And for some reason it opens the door on the bottom. Video game logic again. Can't argue with it. Freaking crossbow guys. I don't I don't like the crossbow guys. There's a very high probability that I'll get hit on my way down. Or they would be like retards and fire their shots before they even had a fix on me. Who's that last one? Oh, there he is. This guy's gonna hit me, isn't he? Yeah, don't you feel dumb? It's alright. No! Dynamite away! Oh shit, I think I jumped the gun. This, that guy's gonna hit me. Or not! I think there's, there's also a zero chance of Plagas coming out during this section, too. Dynamite guys will usually kill themselves. Alright, let's get a visual on the ladder. Hey, dummies! No, that's a that's a waste of an incendiary grenade. What am I doing? Just die! Is that it? Getting hit is one thing. Wasting ammo is another thing. They both waste... Well, they're the same because they both waste uh, items in your inventory, which is never a good thing. Don't waste. Sell them. Always make money. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna use my rifle for this next part. Head gun. Head gun. Oh, there's the sound effect that I love so much. Let's save. Wait, there's no. Really. There's no typewriter over here in the GameCube version of the game. How about that? There's there's a typewriter there in the Wii and PS2 versions of the game, but apparently not in the original version in all of its original glory. Okay, I need shotgun. Or do I? Yeah, I need a shotgun. And there is a certainty that the Plaga will come out during this section. Shit. Yep, there it comes.
Hey, where's this? Where's the guy with the rocket launcher? Quadruple kill. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Ow! God damn you. Alright, uh, you, you know, you deserve a headshot. You really do. Shut the fuck up. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut the video here. When we come back, we're gonna be going after the Garters and Vertigo, the boss of Chapter 4-1. I'll see you guys next time.